Today I want to showcase my smallest, most portable ENG setup, which is built around a Sony Alpha 6500 camera in a small rig 1968 cage with a Sony SELP 18205 motor zoom lens, which gives me plenty of reach. A lightweight camera system also requires a lightweight tripod, so I decided to go with the Novoflex tripod with a Novoflex magic balance unit on top to level the Manfrotto MVH500 True Fluid Head. All in all, the entire tripod system weighs around 2.8 kilos, including the head, extends to 1 meter 75 and offers a lot of stability. Another Noble Flex product, the Q-Mount, sits on top of the notorious Manfrotto plate. Why that? Well, very easy. Both the Q-Mount and the cage are Arca Swiss compatible, which means it's very, very easy to remove or mount the camera on the tripod without having to shift the Manfrotto plate so you maintain tilt balance. Relative to its size, weight and power requirements, the Rode Video Micro delivers quite usable audio quality for ambient sound. I've also got a Sennheiser radio unit and the Aladdin Eye Light as headlight. Now we come to the heart of the unit, the marvelous DXA Micro Pro by Beach Tech. The A6500 doesn't have the best audio capabilities, but the DXA unit makes up for a lot of that. For example, we've got a true headphone output so we can monitor our audio in real time. And we also got an XLR input with plus 48 volts of phantom power. A little bit of advice at this point, please always make sure to check the cable connection between the DXA and the camera because that is the only segment of the audio signal chain that we can't monitor. All of the mini jack inputs, the left, the right and the stereo input feature plug-in power. Taking a look at the in-camera settings, you can see that I dialed down the input gain to 1, which resembles just about the right level of minus 18 to minus 6 dBFS in-camera from a healthy gain signal. You can see the blinking LEDs delivered by the DXA Micro Pro. The DXA Micro Pro is powered by a single 9 volt block. I personally recommend lithium-ion rechargeables which last way longer than standard 9 volt blocks. Hey, now that I've finally got a plus 48 volt phantom power XLR input on my rig, I can compare my Sennheiser MKH416 shotgun, used to be the gold class of all um, broadcast uh, shotguns, with the video micro. Uh, probably going to do that at the very end of this video. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching the showcase about my super ultra portable lightweight electronic news gathering rig. Hopefully see you soon on my channel and have the best day ever. This is me talking into the Sennheiser MKH416 shotgun and I'm also talking into the Rode Video Micro. One of them fed by plug-in power and the other fed by true phantom power with a balanced XLR connection.